whelping nest. We got old Brandine chilling in the whelping box. She got some water right here. Some water. Always have access to when we got a fan blowing on her. So she's nice and cool. When I'm uh, in the house, we got a little puppy cam. So we can document her and see her while we're in the house. Of course, a little whelping record to keep track of the pups. And I wanna go over the materials that I'm preparing to have this litter of pups with, okay? It's a lot of stuff, I'm gonna go one by one. The first item is colostrum supplement. You can get a 16 ounce bag like this at Tractor Supply for $17, $18. All right, the reason why this is important is because puppies, when they are born, do not have an immune system. So they rely on mama's colostrum within the first 48 hours, all right? So even though they're gonna get colostrum from the mama, you need to overload them with the supplement because if they don't get enough colostrum within the first 48 hours, they will die within the first two weeks of birth. So feed this on top of mama's colostrum, mama's milk, and you'll be a-okay. Um, honestly, you can't go wrong, just keep feeding them colostrum anyway. So this is one of the most vital things you need to have. Here's the second thing on the list, calcium tablets, or it can be Tums, whatever. You get them at CVS, Walgreens, Food Line, any grocery store or wellness store. The reason why calcium tablets are important is because it helps the female dog during labor giving contractions. It helps with the contractions. Only give one tablet, one tablet. And when you give the calcium tablet is after the first puppy or during the restlessness and heavy breathing stage. Um, that's when the two times you can give it, okay? Either when they're heavy breathing or after the first puppy because she needs that calcium to give contractions. And the last thing you need is that female dog, um, in my case, Brandine, to have a preeclampsia. And preeclampsia is when the female dog do not have pains of labor and they won't push. So you wanna make sure that they push. Remember, only one tablet, all right, in one of the two scenarios, but just make sure you have some calcium tablets on standby. Do not give it to them before labor, only during the labor stage. All right, third thing on the list, uh, kind of self-explanatory. Have uh, some extra bottles on hand, because if you say you have a large litter and there's not enough uh, teats to go around, you gotta make sure all your puppies are fed. So just make sure you have two extra bottles on standby. So kind of self-explanatory, don't gotta go too much on that. But the fourth thing on the list is a nasal aspirator or I call a baby boogie sucker. The reason why is because saving the pups come out and they're gurgly or the puppies um, have trouble creating an airway, you suck the baby boogie sucker, uh, the nasal aspirator down its throat to suck all the uh, fluid from its, its throat and each nostril, just like a baby. It helps create that airway and that's very important. So you need to have this as well, very vital. Item number five is nitro gloves or just gloves, period, um, like medical gloves. Reason I have these, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory, you know, stay sanitary, you know, between you and the pups because you don't want to give them something or them give you something. You know, even though that's not the case, you know, for me, but it's always good to have them around. So have some good uh, nitrile, you know, latex gloves around. Sixth thing on the list is a scale. It can be a little food scale or a puppy scale. Whatever kind of scale you use to document the puppy's weight. So week by week, you can document their progress. Goat milk. All right, so just like the colostrum, um, if Brandine's not producing enough or she's not letting any pups receive milk from her, you can step up and give them milk. Okay, make sure it's warm, not hot, but make sure it's warm so it symbolizes it coming out the body. All right, but yeah, always good to have some uh, goat powder on standby. You can get this at Tractor Supply for like 20 bucks. All right, so towels, kind of self-explanatory. 
You know, it's going to be messy, so make sure you have towels. And uh, puppy pads. Towels and puppy pads, make sure you have. Next thing on the list. You see, I made a ring out of some scrap metal from the yard. And I electrical taped and zip tied it together. All right. And what this is for is so the pups can have a nice warm place inside the whelping pen because the puppies won't have a regulated body temperature. So I'm gonna put this ring down after the labor is done and I'm gonna get a, a warming blanket from Walmart or, or you know, roses, whatever, I love roses. Um, get a little heat blanket, put it underneath the ring so they have heat because the puppies cannot regulate their body temperature and you need to make sure that they're warm, okay? Don't put it scolding hot, but just just warm and stay consistent. But And they could also regulate themselves. So if they get too hot, they can walk out. And if they get cold, they can walk in. Always have this ring on standby. All right, Brandine. Brandine.